Welcome to Marty Snook Park here in Hagerstown, Maryland. As we begin the A bracket playoffs, as the number five seed, Too Much Talent, takes on the number four seed, the program. Both teams taking the field, program in their baby blues, and TMT in the purples. These two met up last week. Program won 26 to 6. I got you this week. I got you this week. Program in the huddle. So we begin this long day of football up here in Marty Snook. Winner of this game will play immediately afterwards against Broad X. Here we go. From the gun. And, off, and that is not going very far if he can, well, maybe he can. Oh, nothing there. That one just blown up immediately. Kenley complaining about a hold call. Let's say a loss of about two or in a play. That one got blown up in the beginning. That did not go far. So we'll bring up second down. Remember, first down markers are by the cones here in the Washington County Flag Football League. Here we go. Back in the gun. TMT looking to bring the heat. Snaps, looks, fires, cross, and pulled down immediately by Dentel Watts, the defensive back, or Coley Jones, my apologies. Slip of the tongue. Jones did not play in last week's game. He was in the hospital for the birth of his daughter. So we begin this long day of football. Five games today. It's going to be a long one, folks. Third down for the program. Six and three on the season. Three losses to Broad X, Red Knights, and Ruckus. It's going to drop. Fires, and it's batted down, and the program will punt. And a three and out the start for the program. Not what they were looking for. Going on the punt formation. Snap a little high in the side and it's pulled down. And there's a penalty flag, however. Referee is calling a penalty. Let's see what it is. Appears to be on the program. And TMT will start their opening drive from the program's 20 yard line. Referee's discussing. Where we at? Where we at? Sorry, we'll be the 30. See the ref with the puck down to 20. Come on, come on. And not the start that the program was looking for as we turn to the right to the TMT huddle. TMT six and three on the season. Took down Broad X last week. Just did not have enough juice to finish against the program, however. Coming out, one tight end, one back formation. Man in motion. 
He's going to drop hand off up the middle, and this one, ooh, he cuts back to the outside. He might have something. And he's going to get about roughly five or six yards on the play. That looked like it wasn't going to go anywhere. Anybody currently watching the game, please share onto the league Facebook page. In the gun. Second down. Fires. Caught. And pulled immediately by Carasquillo of t the program. She'll bring up a third down play. So far, both defenses settling in and buckling down. In the gun. Single tight end. He's going to roll to the right. Had plenty of room there. Looks like he's going to try to throw instead. And it is caught on the corner. Is it an interception? Nope. Nope. Yes, the referee will call it an interception. In the end zone. And a turnover by TNT. And here come the program. And it looks like they will. Where are they going to mark this at? They will mark it at the 20. TMT thinks they were not in the end zone, but from my angle, it looked to be they were. And the pick happened. Here we go. See if the program can get off to a better second drive than first. Good trips on the left. Tight end. Light of motion. Going to take it up the middle. Let's see if he can. No, nothing. Stuffed it. That was Josh Wheeler on the pool. And that just, just got destroyed. And that has been the story so far. TMT's line is manhandling the programs. No offense. Let's see what they can do here. Yes, folks, first game of five this afternoon. Winner will play Broad X immediately after. Heat going to be a major factor today with temperatures high in the 90s. It's going to be a war of attrition for these two teams if they can make it to next Sunday. In the gun. Trips on the right. Tight end on the left. Man in motion again is McKinley. He's going to fire and it is oh, dropped right in his hands. He had that one. And that's going to bring up third down for the program. Very defensive heavy game to start so far. Here we go. Third down for program. He's going to look. Roll this right and... No, he got it. They looked like they had a sack. And yes, the referee will call it a sack. And that will bring up fourth down for the program. And TMT's defense showing a lot of signs of life early. Yeah. 
And they will be punting it. Never quite know what teams are going for in fourth down here in the Washington County Flag Football League. Fourth down to some just means another chance to throw. But to others, it's a play field position. Here we go. Can they get another block? It looks like a blitz come. Looks like they're going to come all in on this one. To the side again. He still can't get it. And that's another sack. Josh Wheeler once again. Big play. And that's two punts that's been snuffed in the backfield. And TNT winning the trench warfare early. Let's see if they can convert it into points, however. D. Second drive for too much talent. Hey, left side, come over here. You got the right. You got the right. Coach Williams pressing his wide receivers, and he is coming out at quarterback. See what happens. Go. Snap. Looks. Runs. Going up the middle. From the left side, and he's gonna get enough yards. I say about five or six on that one. Williams' mobility tends to be a bit of an X factor. All around athlete, whether it be quarterback, wide receiver, DJ Williams, head coach of Too Much Talent. His second season in the league. He's going to look, fire in the end zone, and an almost catch by the back judge. Incomplete, however. Mentioned second season in the league. Last year he was playing for survivors, took them to a three and six record, and a semi-final loss in the B bracket to Food Lion, now known as the GA Spartans. He's brought his own team out here this season, and they have taken this league by storm. Six and three in their rookie's year. Including the win of a broad axe last Sunday. Here we go. In the gun. Single tight end, trips on the left. Snaps, drops back, looks, gonna run instead. Can he throw it out? End zone, incomplete. And that'll bring a fourth down. A little too high there. You got it. Fourth and goal. Let's see what I they bet call you score right now. I bet you that. I'll make up for that. Making a guarantee. Let's see if he can get it. CJ, CJ, come on. Making a substitution in the last second. Fourth and goal. Let's see what they can do here. Trying to draw first blood. You know, it's been a very defensive game early. The snap. He's going to look. Drop back. And he's going to fire in the end zone. Got it. Touchdown. TMT with the guarantee from TJ Williams. He said it, and he did it. And TNT will draw first blood on the program. Let's see if they're going to go for one or two. So they're going to go for one. Tara Leonard, the right tackle indicating one. 
You're in a Washington County Flag Football League, for those who do not know. You can either go for one or two. If you choose to go for one, you can start from the two-yard line. Whether you want to kick or throw is your decision. From two, you start from the seven, and you must run an offensive play. In the gun. Go fire, and it's incomplete. Broken up in the end zone. But nonetheless, folks, TMT with the first score of the game to go up six to nothing on the program. And the rest going to call for the quarter. Quarter, 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 quarter. So at the end of the first, TMT 6, program nothing. We are broadcasting live from Hagerstown, Maryland here on WJFB, the Joey Bassford Network. Both teams switching field. We apologize for some of the dark shadows when I'm filming on the program side. Sun is right behind, is right in front of us. You can see up ahead. Perhaps a sign. The sun shining down on TMT, but blocks out the program. A metaphor, perhaps, for this game. He made it. He made that guarantee. We are witnesses. We are witnesses. So we switch sides of the field in the second quarter. TMT. Up six to nothing. Already matching their total from last week's loss to the program. The thing about the rematch is it's easy to beat a team once, but it's hard to beat them twice. What can you do if you win a game last week and then come back to play that same exact team again? Rematch theory always favors the loser of the first game. Because they know exactly what they have to do differently. And here we go in the pistol. They got White at quarterback. He played a little beginning of the season. He's going to drop back. Run the option to the right. And Butler's going to kill up the seam. Has he got something? He's got it. And that might be. Let's see if the ref calls it. That's a first down either way. And that's how you change it up. Substitution in the quarterback position. And it pays big dividends, a first down for the program. We talked about it. How is it you can make the adjustment after you win? You did everything right the first time. What can you do better the second? If you are the winner. And if you are the loser, it's a lot easier. You just got to learn from your mistakes the first time. So far, it's paying off for TMT. And the pistol again. He's gonna draw. He's gonna look. Option once more to Butler. And ooh, they clash right there. That could have got physical. Flag pulled nonetheless. But still a first down for the program. A little option ball being played in here. Program trying to throw TMT off by putting a new wrinkle to this offense, and so far it's working. They've had more yards these last two plays than they did their first two possessions combined. Back in the shotgun, two tight ends and a backer. Snap again, white up the middle. And he's going to get maybe about a yard at most. TMT snuffed that one out. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. He got first down here. He's a bum. Here we go. A little confusion with the refs. Same formation, two tight ends and a backer. 
He's going to switch it up, though, on the left side. He's going to look, draws back. He's going to toss it, and he does, and he's got something going still. That is Butler again, and Butler's going down the field. I can't believe what I just saw. A first down, and that was one hell of a play. Hey. Where did he hey. get that from? Hey, hey. Luckily, we had pads on, though, Ty. Huh? Folks, I. That was something. <laughs> that was something. That was beautiful. Let's go, smart shit. Go. That looked like it was going for nothing. <laughs> looked like he was just trying to throw it away desperately the last second, but instead it's a 25 yard gain. Losing my voice and all the excitement here. Shoo! That was something. TMT trying to say it was a busted play, but it worked. Here we go. Snap, running out of the empty formation. Can he get the, get the nope, he's, oh, a flag pulled. Tried getting the edge, but did not quite get there. Second and goal for the program. Their best drive so far. They've been throwing off TMT on this one. They've been throwing me off on this one. <laughs> Unbelievable plays. Making a substitution. Can they now a wide receiver? He can do everything on this team. Throws it, caught. And he's going to be pulled short at the three yard line. As we get to our end zone cam. Third and goal for the program. It's like a TMT's defense. From the sideline. Empty formation. Let's see what they do here. He's going to run up the middle, cuts to the right, and they're going to mark him short of the end zone by at least two yards. Fourth down for the program. Thank you to Mikey Scunyon for sharing the video. I encourage everyone to share on their own Facebook page, the, the league page, anywhere you can. Broadcast this around the world. Washington County Flag Football, the best football you'll find year-round. Mr. Davis, Ryan Davis, former standout high school running back, great All-American, star, University of Pittsburgh. Here we go. Sun seems to be in the eyes here, so I apologize. It's a little dark. Here we go. Fourth and goal. White back in the quarterback. Oh, that one got busted through, but he escapes. Fires in the end zone. Got it. Touchdown program. And the program responds to TMT on a play that did not look like it was going anywhere. Turns into six points. Looks like the program will go for the extra point to try to take a seven to six lead. Watts on the side, not very happy like said, of himself. No advantage. But that was just a really good play by the program. Cannot take anything away from him there. What a drive. 
They are going to kick the extra point. Kick is good! And the program takes the lead seven to six here in the second quarter. What a drive. Can we talk about what we just witnessed? Program cannot get anything going on their first two drives, but the third time was the charm. A lot of substitution, a lot of option, a lot of craziness. <laughs> And it all worked out for six points. Follow with the extra point as they take a seven to six lead. TMT will start at the 35. Automatic starting position for every team here in the Washington County Flag Football League. Unless one chooses to kick off, which is rare. In the gun. It's gonna fire incomplete. Second down and five. Yards or TMT, the equivalent to second down and a stick. <laughs> TMT's first drive ended with an interception in the end zone, second drive ended with a touchdown in the end zone. However, they did not convert the extra point. Here we go in the gun. And the ref blows the whistle. Let's see what he's calling. Why don't you say something? See what he's calling. Hey, TJ. He's going to call off sides, and that should not have been a dead whistle. Should not have been a dead whistle. Either way, automatic first down for TNT. Granted, they would have much preferred to get a playoff there instead. Here we go. From the gun again. Busting through the line. Going to fire it up. He's got a catch. And he's going to get a couple yards out of that. The penetration was there for the program. But he got the ball off just in time to get a couple yards. I feel you. I feel you. So it's second down. Sustaining an injury. He says he's got sore nuts. Not a good one. Too long of a day for that. Here we go. Second down. For the program, or TMT. Yeah. Ref indicating 10 seconds on the uh, play clock. He'll snap it. Hand off to the right side. And he's got space and enough yards. Flag, however. Flag. Sideline judge on the program side. Calling the penalty. He, he was going to play. He blocked. He blocked. It was a run play. It's a run play. He blocked. Oh, he like you girl. <laughs> Is he not all block? It's a run play. Hey, like Calling an eligible man, it appears. Ref, it's a run play. Can he not block? He did run. Official indicating that. He was running a route on the play. TMT disagrees. And I'm not so sure I agree myself. Yikes.
Here we go. Penalty really hurts TMT. That's a good play. Ready. Go. It's gonna roll to his right. He's gonna get yards of his own legs. A little bit of a close collision on my end. <laughs> And they're going to call two minutes. Very fast first half here. Two minutes to go here in the second quarter. For those of you just tuning in, the program is up 7-6 to six on TMT. See what he can do here. Trying to keep the drive alive. And the gun is going to look. Fires. Complete. He'll have a first down. And he finally gets him. First down for TMT. Here we go. From the gun. Tight end single back. It's going to fire across. Complete to the big man. And he is going to get a couple yards. And TMT will burn their first time out of the half. Two remaining. Seven to six early. In the gun, single back, tight end, and three wide receivers. It's gonna roll to his left. Pump fakes, looks, fires, deep, and it's gonna be intercepted. Is it gonna be a pick or was he out? Seems like the play's still alive. So an interception by the program. Big time pick. Let's go! And the program has a chance at halftime to perhaps put their foot on the third of TMT. Remember, program had the ball first, so TMT will get it in the second half. Here we go. First down and about five yards from the fifteen. He's gonna look fire across to McKinley. He's gonna get the first down, and he's hard to get. Once the ball's in his hands, it is hard to get that kid. First down for the program. Third season in existence for the program began last spring. Last year, the A bracket playoffs, very early X, they were smothered by the X Dogs. Much different story today. And the gun fires across again. And that's going to be a couple more, another game, about say seven, eight yards. Second down. 
coming up for the program. Matt to pick the pace a little bit, hell. It's a big drive. Rough indicating a minute 14 remaining. But a big drive for both teams here. If the program get, can score once more before halftime, that gives them a pretty commanding lead for the moment. However, if TNT gets a stop here, they're going to have a shot to take the lead here. Coming up. Momentum going to be key in the second half. Two tight ends set. Empty backfield. Fires deep. And it is incomplete. Great defense by Coley Jones. Had a one-on-one -on -one downfield, but just could not convert it. Bring up third down, 106 remaining. Clock stopped with the incompletion. So we've learned here in the Washington County Flag Football League, a minute and six is plenty of time. And the gun. Drop back. Complete and across the middle. Can he get the first down? Oh, a good block. And he will get the first down. And the program strive will continue. So they get across the 40-yard line. They still got a bit of a ways to go, though, before they're in the red zone. One timeout left for the program. 55 seconds left on the clock. What side do you think is weak? We got time. We got time, right? Don't use the timeout. What side do you think? Okay. We let it be. Yeah. In the gun, tight end on the right side. Throws behind the line. TMT not happy. They say it was an eligible receiver. But from my angle, it looks like it was clean. They better hurry up. Clock is running. Too much talking, not enough play. And now the other official is coming over. Let's see what they're going to call. Let's go. What you guys keep? We gotta get a chance to restart. Let's go. Thirty seconds remaining. Lost a lot of time on that one. In the gun. Steps up in the pocket. And he's going to be sacked instead. It's like less than a minute. At least third down. Okay, 
Third down, 20 seconds remaining. Single timeout, as ref has indicated. In the gun, two tight ends. Three wide receivers. Low snap. And that's going to result in a dead ball. And that'll bring up fourth. And TNT will call a timeout in an attempt to score before halftime. Program has punted twice already. Both punts blocked. Snuff before the ad chance get going. Resulting in TNT having a positive field position. Starting in the red zone both times. Courtesy of those punt blocks. See what they can do here. Fourth down. One would assume they're going to punt. You never know. Here he comes. Snap. Perfect. Blocked again. Three times today the program has tried to punt it. And they couldn't get it off any of the three times. TNT is just mad. This defensive line is something, people. This D line is something. We talk about the greatness of the program's D line, but TNT has come up in key moments today to give them the positive field position they need to win this game. Drew. Drew, you're blocking this time. Make him our release. Here we go. Williams back in at quarterback. TMT trying to take the lead before halftime. One tight end, one backer, three wide receivers. Interesting formation. I'm going to throw across the middle, and it's dropped. He had that one at least twice. Clock stops and incompletions, yes. At least, they should, at least they should stop the completions. <laughs> Winner of this game will advance to the semifinals of the A bracket, where they will play Broad Axe. Second down. Man in motion, empty backfield. Four wide receivers and a tight end. Snap coming. Williams going to drop back. Going to move in the pocket. Going to run it himself if he can get away, and he will. And he's got a first down. He might have a touchdown. Oh, stop just short. That looked like a loss upon first glance, but he took it way down the field. Talk about the mobility of TJ Williams when he gets a run and he's hard to catch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, stay from me. So we got the jump ball option. Perhaps the best dual threat quarterback in this league, and he's not even their full time starter. That'll be Jacob Mitchell, their full-time starter. But Williams, just as good on his own out here. Here we go. Pistol formation. He's going to toss it late. But he's going to fire end zone. Got it. Touchdown, TNT. And just before halftime. Get solid points while we can. 
TNT takes back the lead. So we head to the end zone camera. And they're going to go for two. Score currently is 12 to 7 TNT. Two point conversion can make it 14 to 7. Remember, 12 7, yes. Remember, on two point conversions, you have to take it from the seven yard line. 10 yard line, sorry. Williams and the quarterback again. Gutsy call early. See if they can get it. Williams. He's got space, he's going to throw it instead, and he's got it for the two point conversion. And just before halftime, folks, TMT takes a 14 to 7 lead. And that's going to be halftime. We'll be right back here on WJFB, the Joey Bassford Network. Welcome back to Marty Snook Park here in Hagerstown, Maryland. The second half begins. TNT up 14 to 7. And they will get the ball to start this half. From the 35 yard line, Williams still at quarterback. Response for both their touchdowns today. Good look. And he's going to be sacked. And that's a rare one. Williams going to be sacked in the backfield. His legs have been the X factor here in this game. Could not get much going in the first two drives, but then followed it up with two scores. I played the whole game with it, and now y'all want me to change it. Referee complaining about the visor. On Dame, number 42. Williams in the gun. Go. He's going to look. Fires across the middle. And it is complete. Where's the first down? Where's the first down? Hey, that. Bring up second down and very sure, third down and very short for TNT. Trying to avenge last week's loss to the program. Snap coming. Throws across. Incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. One ref says third. The other says fourth. I definitely believe it's fourth. Definitely is fourth. Yeah, they had the sack and then the pass and then the second down. Should be fourth for the Is it to the one? Fourth down and very short. It's gonna be a big momentum shift here for either side. Let's see what happens. Williams snaps it. Gonna run to his right. Gonna take it the middle instead. And Williams got some room to run, and he's gonna get a first down. Only needed about a few inches. Instead, he got several feet. And a big conversion, and that's gotta hurt if you're the program. TMT very much in control of this game right now. They've snuffed out three blocks. The last one, two of which being very key to both their scores. The last one just before half, followed up by a touchdown and two-point conversion. As they lead 14 to 7. 
Snap. Gonna toss it. Oh, killer block on the edge. And that was a good run. TMT had a slow start early. Struck first blood to make it six to nothing. Program. Then follow that up. Both teams just couldn't get it going early on offense. Until TMT brought in TJ Williams to play quarterback. Responsible for driving him down the field and scoring one of their touchdowns, as well as the two-point conversion. Takes the pitch, fires deep, and he's got a man wide open. That was for the rest calling for a flag. His flag fell off. That's what the claim is. The rule is where he catches it. Well, that's the argument. Program is claiming it's where the flag is. TMT is saying it's where it is. TMT's moving down the field as if it's in the red zone. Program sidelines that several players on broad axe disagree. Ref saying it's where the ball's caught. Either way, first down for TMT. And that should have been a touchdown, though. He was wide open down the field with plenty of room to run. Score is TMT 14, the program 6. For those just tuning in. First down in the gun. Gonna look to, up the middle. Williams running again. And he's gonna get a couple yards on that play. Second and goal for too much talent. Based out of the I-81 corridor, Winchester and Inwood, West Virginia, West, man, Winchester, Virginia and Inwood, West Virginia. Program based out of here in Hagerstown, Maryland. One of four teams from Hagerstown in this league. We are a very diverse league here in the Washington County Flag Football. We're outreach stretch across three states this season. Next season, when next stalls returns, it'll be four. And the gun again. Snaps to his left. And both flags pulled. And that's the key. When he takes off the run, you've got to contain quickly. You cannot let him get an open space. Not even an inch. You give him an inch, he will take a mile. Hey, pick your head up. That inch, that inch drop is looking I'm, I'm killing my dude. Every end is coming with me. I didn't want to help that. Yeah. He's playing some yards up and Williams out of the game. Mitchell back in. See what Mitchell can do. Gonna fire quick to the sideline. Does he have it in the end zone? Yes, he does. Touchdown, TMT. Let's go. And the substitution pays off. As TMT scores their third touchdown of the day to take a 20 to 7 lead. They're not like that. Kobe, make a play. Hey, I made a play on my The exact opposite of what happened last week. Extra point coming.
Mitchell. And he's going to throw quickly. There's nobody there, however. Incomplete. And nonetheless, TNT has taken this game completely over a 20 to 7 lead. Can the program respond? Has not been their game so far, offensively speaking. Three punts. Out of their four drives. And all three were snuffed in the backfield. So drive for a touchdown came earlier. They switched it up, running a lot of option with their running back McKinley White. Just little wrinkles to anything to throw TMT off because this TMT defense has been just trashing them all game today. Here we go. Pistol formation. White back at Q. Here it comes. Option coming. Nope. He's going to try to cut it side, and that's going nowhere. Coley Jones running in there, pulling the flag. He burned him in that touchdown drive they had, but this time he goes for nothing. Winner of this game will take on Broad X immediately after. For both teams, the best strategy at this point is to try to cut this game as short as they can. At least if you're a TMT, if you're a program, might need to hurry up. White in the gun, drops, fires deep, and it is intercepted, Coley Jones. Why is he down? Why is he blow the whistle? Back back and TNT, and these last three drives, snuffed a punt, scored back-to-back -back touchdowns, and an interception. It's already over. And now they have a chance to possibly cut the throw to the program. Jacob. Jacob. Who you in for? Reed. I got Reed. Mitchell's still in a quarterback. Here we go. From what appears to be at the 27 yard line. Two tight ends and a running back. Snap. Fires across again. Hook and ladder play. Program had it snuffed out, but it said it's going to be a TNT first down. They had it. As beautiful as the hook and ladder was, the program's defense played it perfectly. They just couldn't execute. And a first down for TMT. Looking to go up by three scores. As they prepare as Broad X along the right sideline prepares for the winner of this game. He talked about the rematch theory. It is much easier to win the second game if you lost the first game. And so far, TMT is showing that. They've corrected the mistakes from last week. They're playing much better. And program just looks flustered. They just cannot get it together right now. Mitchell in the gun, hand off up the middle. He's going to cut, and he's going to get the yards. Down the field, it's going to be about two. Wes Markham 
across the first line cone. Hucks down. Looks like that's a first down. And TMT. Moving the ball very efficiently this afternoon. In the gun. Gonna take the hand off. He's gonna take it himself. And ooh, he got clocked on that sideline. And an altercation coming down. Did they throw the flag? He leveled Mitchell on that sideline. Jacob, let him go. Hey, come on. Let him go. I was running up. Jacob, Jacob. Jacob. You don't want to afford to lose anybody for the next game. It is currently the third quarter for those of us just tuning in. TMT with a 20 to 7 lead on the program. Mitchell showing his own mobility. We talk about the mobility of Williams, but Mitchell is just as capable. Hand off up the middle. Just a little bit of a gain on that play. And that is the end of the third quarter. We're down. Jake, second. 15 minutes perhaps left in someone's season. As TMT scores once in this quarter. And they make it 20 to 7. As we prepare for the final quarter of this game. Ten seconds on the play clock. In the gun, actually. Mitchell's gonna. I'm excited. Time will pick up. Okay, he's gonna clock, talk to his receiver. Bob, ready? Go. And the gun. Gonna roll to his left. Fires. And it's tipped and incomplete. For those of you just tuning in, the score is TMT 20, the program 7, as we just began the fourth quarter. In the gun from the pistol. Mitchell, plenty of time. Going to go to his left, and he's going to be sacked. That's a coverage sack on that one. Just cannot find anybody open. And that'll turn the ball over. That was third down. No, it was a fourth. It was third down. Ref saying that was fourth. But the other ref, TMT saying this is fourth now. We'll see what's going on. Now he's going to call it fourth. Officiating mistake here from our Dollar General referees. Right here. 
And right around, looks like they're not even ready, or they're gonna drop everybody back. Let's see. Two linemen coming down to the last second. Williams back at quarterback. Takes a snap, fires it deep. He's got a man open, and it is. Is it a catch? And complete. <laughs> and the program finally with a huge stop. Hey, you better take Cortez. As they take over with a chance to perhaps pull within a score. <laughs> Offensively speaking, though, has not been their game today. Let's see if they make something happen. From the pistol formation, two tight ends. Option coming. The big man is going to take it for a minimal gain. Saw the seam up the middle. And an altercation on the sidelines. And here comes the penalty flag. Both these teams going at it. Referee's trying to get this under control. They allowed to grab me by my neck. Nah, not again. They're allowed to grab me by my neck. And nobody can If I do that, I'm out there, right? This helps now. This helps now. And that's going to be on the program. And that is critical. Jones says he was grabbed by the neck for TMT. Did not quite get a good view of it. Nonetheless, huge loss for the program. Not what you need right now in this situation. Fires. Right side. And that's just went nowhere. TNT looking to avenge their third loss of the year. They lost last week to the program, 26 to 6. Much, much different game today. Ref indicating third and two sticks. That's a lot of yards. I believe about 30 yards they got a game for a first down. So third and 30. It's going to look. Fire across the middle. Open man. That's one stick, but they're going to need to get one more. And you best believe, if you are the programmer, you have to go for it here. Do or die. Possibly their last game of the year. Cannot hold anything back. And the program will call a timeout. 19 yards to go for a first down. But they still need 13 points to tie, 14 to take the lead.
Let me recap this game. Story of this game has been TMT's defense. They have smothered three punts by the program. Two of which led to TMT touchdowns. That positive field position has been killing the program in this game. And here we go. Fourth and 19. Takes a snap. No one, look, they're gonna find somebody. It's gonna be incomplete. Looks like no flags around. And that's gonna be TMT ball. And now TMT looking to perhaps cut the throat of the program and get out of here with what will be their seventh win of the season as well as a spot in the semifinals against Broad X immediately after this game. Williams in a kill from the pistol. Toss to the right. He's going to try to throw, but he can't find anybody. So that's going to be a big loss. We're good. Just didn't really have anything on that one. We're good. Second down. For the men in purple. TMT in the light blue, or TMT in the purple. Program in the light blue. Here we go. Williams going to be in the gun again. Single back, tight end. Three wide receivers. Williams going to fake the handoff. Going to throw across the middle and complete. Third down coming. Here we go from the gun. Empty backfield, one tight end, three wide receivers. Go. Williams looking. And he's going to be sacked. Williams complaining about a hold. And TNT will hunt, I believe. Here we go. Put formation for TMT. And he's going to punt it. High and possibly not very, very shallow, actually. And here comes the return. And he's going to get out of bounds, and that's going to be perfect field position for TNT. Sorry, the program. Yeah. Let's see what I can do. 
You mentioned the TMT defensive line has just been dominating the program's offensive line all game today. They need something. Anything at this point. This could be game coming up ahead. Biggest drive of the game if you're the program right now. You have to score. You cannot afford to give the ball back to TNT. Two tight ends. Empty backfield. Fires across the side. Complete. And a bit of a game on that one. One of the better plays we've seen from the program. In a game where offensively everything just seemingly is going wrong for him. Here we go. Two tight ends. Single quarterback in the empty backfield. Fires intercepted, going the other way. Possible pick six. Gotta be stopped right around the 27 yard line. And that might have been the dagger. Program on the ropes. We next, baby. Devastating blow for the program as TNT now looks to fire a haymaker. Defense has been the story in this one for TNT. Their defense has put them in, pos in positive field position on five different occasions this afternoon for three scores. Two of those drives starting in the red zone from block punts and Mitchell gonna roll to his right. And he is gonna be sacked for a loss. And the referee said only for the two minute warning. And barring a miracle. It will be a rematch, TMT versus Broadax in the semifinals. Coming up immediately after this game. Hand off to the right side. And minimal gain, not much. But it's enough to drain the clock down a little further. Time running out on the program season. Oh yeah, I'm on. I was on the ball. He called me on. If this holds up, they will finish six and four on the year, which was their record last season, I believe. Much better squad though this spring, if you ask me. Having watched this team from start to finish. TMT still a Cinderella story. Newcomers to maybe a championship appearance? We'll see. Mitchell throws complete. And that'll bring up fourth down. As the clock continues to bleed. And the program will burn a timeout. Hey, my dude's defeated, dude. He ain't even rushing. He's just sitting way up. I don't care. I'm just saying, he's gone. He's not. How much time's left? 
57 remaining in the game. 4th down, they're going to go for it. Hey, Kenny. Why not? Go for the win now. In the gun. One tight end. Two tight ends, actually. See what they can do here. Mitchell. Going to toss it. I don't think he was ready for that one. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. And the program, they're going to have a chance to do something, but not much they can do at this point. Seventeen seconds remaining. Program's gonna <laughs> How many? 52. 52. I don't know where the 17 figure came from. Perhaps that was the uh, play clock. Program looking to try to stay alive. But this game has belonged to TNT through and through. Snap. Fires deep. And it's on the wrong side, and that's incomplete. Had White one on one down the field. But just wasn't on the right shoulder. Two tight ends and the pistol. Trying to move in the pocket. That's a wave in the rush. Fires it deep again, and it is going to be out of bounds and complete. Twice he tried to get the white down the field. Both times incomplete. Thirty-five seconds remaining. TMT up twenty to seven. Scored in their opening drive here in the half. Have not scored since. Program scored in their third drive. Just that was the only highlight of today's game for them. It's been a tough one. A great season for these men, though. Getting better every year. Be a team to look out for next season. Here we go. Rush coming. Trying to get rid of the ball. He's going to be sacked, it appears. And he'll call it a sack. And it'll bring up fourth down. They're going to need anything here. Ref's actually going to say he got it off in time. I don't know about that. Yeah. 
Fourth down. White back at quarterback. Responsible for the running score today. He's going to move around, throw, complete. And that was the center. Wow. Not the way you want to end your season. Russ will call it, and that'll do it. As TMT defeats the program 20 to 7. They will go to seven and three on the year. Program falls to six and four, and they'll be back in the fall as TMT prepares for the second leg of their doubleheader as they take on the team they took down last week, the reigning champion, Broad Axe.